Are you tired of saving your Lumion project with different names just because the client asks you to do some 3D model changes and you don't want to lose all your previous work? There is a quick way of doing this. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Nuno Silva and today I'll show you how you can add model variation in Lumion with one click. So let's jump into Lumion and I'll show you how. And the first example we're going to make, it's let's say the client wants to have a different version of this house with different materials. So it will be no changes done to the 3D model, just changing the materials. So if you do this in this exact model, if you want to go back, you would have to have a different saved version of this, so a different Lumion project. And for example, this file, it's already with almost one gigabyte. And this is a very simple scene. So if you save with a different version, it will be already almost two gigabytes. So if you're starting piling up all of these saves, it will get a lot of space in your disk. And for this purpose, there's a very easy way to do this. So you just need to go select the model. So you click here on the bottom, you have content library, right? So you have imported models and you click the model and you'll notice there's a plus button and it says add variation. So let's click it. And now we have the folder where we want our new version and the name. So I'm going to name this to version two. Well, I already named this, so like this. And just press OK. Now you'll notice that nothing changed. So we just have here one and two. So the first one, it's the classic house ver version one. And the second one, classic house version two. We need to click here. But if we click here, re-import, it will re-import the same model. And that's not what we want. We want to re-import a new model. So we'll just press Alt on the keyboard. And with this, it will start showing re-import model from new file. We click. And now I can import my new model. In this case, I just simply duplicate it. I just copy and paste it like this. And I created a new copy and rename it version 2. Let's delete. That's the only difference because this version, I just want to change the materials and that's it. So I'm going to click open. All right. Now we have the classic house version two. And let's say that we want some different materials. So I'm just going to start here changing some of these materials. For example, instead of this brick, I have here saved some ship lap material. This one, just going to apply it here. Just need to do some quick changes here to the material darker like this and let's say that instead of this brick here on the bottom uh, now they want a concrete material for example so let's go here we can apply this concrete I'm just going to round here the edges a little bit okay instead of this material being white let's change as well to dark and let's do the same here in the garage. Okay. Okay, I think this is enough changes. Okay. So now if you press apply, now you can see that we have different materials, right? And if we go now again to the content library and we select this model, we'll see one and two. So if I click one, so you see that very, very quickly, it changed to the previous version where I had the bricks and everything and the, the white door and the white garage. If I click here, now I have a different version. So very quickly, you can make these different versions. And I'm actually going to make a render of both houses so you can see the difference between them. But before that, I want to invite you to my free Lumion training, my top 10 secrets to achieve realistic results with your renders. I'll leave a link in the top right corner and also in the description below this video. Now let's see a new scenario where the client, for example, he doesn't want the, this garage. So what I did here is just click add variation like we did previously. And this time I'm going to make free or if you want, for example, you can even name this. If you have several different versions, you can name them and say this without garage. Press OK. It will start creating this new version. And now that we have here the version created, version free, Let's do the same. Let's press Alt on the keyboard. Now we have the message saying re-import model from new file. Notice that I'm still pressing the Alt on the keyboard. If I release, 
I will not have this option. So Alt, click, and now Classic House version 3. I'm gonna open, and now you can see that this garage is gone. Okay, very quickly now we have another version. So we have the first one with uh, all the brick materials, we have the second one with the shiplap, and we have the third one without the garage, but still with this shiplap material. And if you want to have a different variation of this uh, house with the bricks, you just click here to add variation and import a new model with this uh, without the garage, but with the bricks material. And so as you can see, you can very quickly add these variations. Yes, it will increase the file size in Lumion, but the advantage here is that you don't have to load a new project every time you want to see a new model variation or a new material variation, because it takes some time to load and every time that you can save, it's good, right? So here you can see that just one click, it's instant, the changes. So it takes less than a second to make the changes. I hope this tip helps you in your projects so you don't have to keep piling up a lot of Lumion versions and filling up a lot of your disk space just because the client asks you for a small change. And don't forget to sign up to my free Lumion training, my top 10 secrets to achieve realistic results with your 3D renders. I'll leave a link in the top right corner and also in the description below this video. And I'll see you in the next one.